Curtis, welcome to you, Gordon. Thank you very much. Why did you Why did you choose to come here? Uh, obviously, it's a big club in Stockholm, which is really positive. Um, after sp speaking to the managers, who seemed like they really wanted me and were that followed my career in Sweden, it was really nice to hear, and I've got trust from them which is something that every footballer wants, a manager who believes in you. Now I have two, <laughs> so I'm ready to impress them. And you wanted to stay in, in Allsvenskan in Sweden? Yeah, obviously it would be nice for a move outside, but when I had spoken to Kim and Tolle and Bosse, then I felt like this was the right step at this stage in my career. What did Kim and Tolle tell, tell you? They had watched me when I first come to Sweden. Uh, they liked me and Brewer, Nuri, in midfield for Ostersund. Uh, really, they said I was a really intelligent player and someone that they want to work with. And from that conversation, I think my mind was set. And you are a midfielder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you have played in a lot of different positions in Ostersund. How's that been? Uh, it's been fun. I've enjoyed playing football. Uh, sometimes get uh, some jokes and that from my teammates, but I just try my best wherever the managers put me. I've tried to do well, um, and just try and do my best for my team. But football hasn't always been fun for you. You have a quite a special story as a footballer compared to other players. Yeah, uh, obviously. People who have told the story knows that I was really young and wasn't really dedicated, didn't know what it took to take the next step and I thought football was always just to be having fun and enjoying like just kicking the ball around but then as you make a higher step it becomes people are fighting for their lives, they're fighting to earn the money for the family and for me, at 18, 19, it was hard to take and I stopped enjoying it. So now I've overcame them barriers and started to enjoy again. But then you, you stopped actually playing football? Yeah, two years. I was just playing once a week. Uh, took up a different lifestyle and it was good to start with, but not good for me in the long run. So I decided to leave it behind and come to Sweden. It was fun at the moment. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> had a few good times with friends, things that I'd missed out on as a teenager growing up. Loving football is you have to make sacrifices and I made up for that when I came out of football. <laughs> and then you made a really m strange move. You went to Swedish fifth division up in the north of Sweden. Yeah, obviously when it was through a Facebook message and as I say my lifestyle wasn't too good at the time so it was nice to take a step away and then I've never looked back as it was a great six, seven months in that club and then it's led to a great three years in Ostersund and without me taking that step I wouldn't be sat here now, a U Garden player. So. Yeah. yeah, and your debut in uh, Östersund, that was against in the friendly game against you, Gordon. That was the first, your first day in Östersund. Yeah, that was my first 90 minutes in a friendly match. Uh, really tough game, some really good players, and I remember that game. Yeah, so I remember you, Gordon, from that. But it must have been really hard going from fifth division to Östersund. It was, it was okay. Uh, a lot of people on the similar level technically and uh, how smart they were so I, f I think I fit in quite well and I adapted quickly and I think that showed in some of the performances. What are your skills, main skills as a footballer? I work hard for my teammates, uh, I give everything in the 90 minutes, uh, I like to have the ball at my feet, uh, I'm unselfish, uh, runs off the ball, Working hard, out of possession. Uh, yeah. 
Yeah, and you cover a lot of sp space in the field as well. I heard I spoke to one of your former coaches and he said you have a really good vision at the, f at the field. Yeah, I think uh, on the ball, vision, creating passes, uh, controlling the tempo of the game. And off the ball, I just work really hard and yeah, just as every player should do. Yeah, and then you have it. Uh, you have played a lot of international games as well for Estersund. Uh, what does that mean to have that experience? Yeah, obviously uh, now coming to Eurogard and with a bigger crowd, uh, it's something new for me. It's nice that I experienced that in the Europa League games. So hopefully I won't be too nervous, but uh, yeah, it would be good. But you really, you said that you really enjoyed life moving to Ytterhogdal, which is really, really small. And now, then you moved to Östersund, obviously, and now to Djurgården. Is it a big step socially? Yeah, uh, obviously Östersund is a small town compared to Stockholm. So I'm happy with the progress that I'm making. It's a step from Division 3 to Östersund, and now making a bigger step to Djurgården. And Obviously, it will take a while to get to know the, everything, and but I'll settle in well. And you don't know any of the players in in Newgarden? Not personally, no. I uh, watch them on the TV, so I will know everyone. But I need to get to know everyone personally. And what do you think about the player Newgarden plays football? Really good team, really strong. Got top class players in the team. Do I enjoy watching the games when they're live? So I know that the players are really good. And what do you think about your own chances of making it in the starting eleven? It's, uh, it'll be tough, of course. Uh, they're playing really well at the moment, but I haven't come here to be on the bench. But I need to prove to the players and the manager that in training and prove to them that I can be worthy of starting eleven. Things are going fast, you're signing today and then tomorrow you're starting practicing and you're ready to play against Ellsbury already on Monday. Yeah, it's, it's good, no, no time to waste, just straight into it, which is better and can't wait to get started. Outside football, who are you? Uh, I love sports, golf, tennis, snooker, darts, I'm just really sporty. Uh, obviously, I have my girlfriend, so spend time with her. Play Xbox, <laughs> computer games. So, yeah, just to really laid back and try and do other things apart from football. And you're always smiling. <laughs> yeah, of course. It's, yeah, I've been through a lot of my life now. I just learned that I'm happy where I am right now and. I think if you speak to anyone about me, I play my best football when I'm happy, so if you don't see me with a smile on my face, then there'll be something up. And you're happy now being a U Warren player? Yes, of course. Can't wait. Thank you very much. Thank you.